Come on a journey with me, Brie Lawrenson, where we talk about the stories behind the scenes in the music industry. Grab a drink or four. This is your front row ticket in to the distillery with me, Brie. In celebration of hitting 60,000 monthly Spotify listeners, I'm giving away a Yeti Rody 24 cooler. It's worth $400, and all the Patreon members get double the chances of winning. So if you subscribe to a tier, you will have twice as many chances as the rest of the world on TikTok has to win the Yeti cooler. We will be announcing the winner Halloween. Hey guys, welcome back to the distillery with Brie. I am your host for this episode. I am Brie Lawrenson and you can check me out on all the socials, TikTok, Instagram, Podbean, I guess, Twitter, all of the all of the places. Um, and please stream, make sure you stream my music everywhere. You can, right now, I think we have 50,000 Spotify monthly listeners, and it's just kind of going out of control. I mean, it's, it's actually going pretty amazing. This year has been incredible. Um, right now for this episode, I'm, this is like, we're actually kind of celebrating here because this is the first time we have a guest on our podcast. Um, we got to catch up with one of my favorite creators. Um, her She goes by the handle at Your Beauty Witch in the Six, Six with, a, with the letter Six IX. And she goes by that handle on Instagram as well. Um, I got, I guess I found her on TikTok um, maybe last year around this time and I just got hooked. I can, I love watching her. I love watching her lives. I love watching her spells. I love, so basically she's a psychic m- medical medium witch and she's based here in Canada. Um, I've watched a lot of her content and the, the stuff that she does is amazing. She offers, um, you know, a discord, I think. So make sure you follow her, um, on all the socials. That's your beauty, Witch in the six. Anyways, I got hooked to her content and, um, she does a lot of stuff like yes or no questions with the dousing rods. Um, and she does a lot of tarot readings, uh, a lot of medium psychic readings. She's just incredible, but she also is very positive. She offers s- more support um, throughout her readings and sort of guidance, which is wonderful. And I guess that's why I just completely got hooked because I think that her her view and her perspective on life and what you think is what happens and what what you say is what will be like it's all of this manifesting and positivity and affirmations and it's true it's this all the, the it's the law of attraction and i know that i've gone through this crazy transformation the past few years um to where i'm now manifesting like you know a, I'm manifesting my dream job and I'm and I'm living my life comfortably and loving every single day. So I knew I had to catch up with this girl because I have taken a lot of her advice and I've I've even applied and paid well I've paid for and took some of her workshops and um hypnosis and stuff like that and like you guys you just you can't, you can't, don't disc hypnosis before you even try it. Like seriously, I now, I now listen to hypnosis, hypnosis, um, every day. I allow myself that meditation time and the hypnotic training and the hypnosis is just to listen to it. it it's like, a a quick start on your manifestations because you're talking to your conscious mind. Anyway, your unconscious mind. <laughs> anyway, I learned so much from this incredible creator. And so um, 
let's get right into the rest of the episode with the full interview. Um, it was me, Brie Lawrenson, uh, my hubby addict, T, and our amazing family member sister, uh, Samaya. And uh, she, because she's also a fan of Angela. Her name is Your Beauty Witch in the Six. She's, we're all huge fans on TikTok. So we uh, got the chance to get all together through zoom and do a a little bit of a podcast and i hope that you you enjoy it would love your feedback make sure you um you know heart this and share it with all your friends this is our first podcast episode with a guest and she's one of my favorite creators i'm so inspired by every day so um go check it out you could win the yeti cooler so much for being available for us. Yeah, we're so excited to have you on our I'm podcast. Excited. I this watched is my you. first podcast. Oh my god, that's amazing! Mm, well, yeah. we're we're not gonna mm-hmm. uh, go on like too long. Like some pa- podcasters go on for like hours and hours. But it's good conversation. It's but good conversation. Yeah, yeah, we've got. We just had some downloads from Bulgaria. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> It's and been, uh, thank you guys. It's pretty for, wild, hey? To our listeners. Yeah, this is crazy. So it's it's got I think we started this. When did we start it? Uh this year, about January or February. So by the way, this is um he's basically my co-host, but he does to, this is my husband Attic. Hello. It's <laughs> great to meet you. This is Angela, I, your I beauty hear, witch in Witch in the Six. I hear you all the time in, yeah. in, in, in the lives. I'm like, I'm like, oh, is that the is I call you the beauty witch. I'm like, is that your beauty, beauty witch? witch? Yeah. <laughs> It's and um, me, this me. is Samaya up here. This is my sister-in-law. And he is a Hello. huge fan as well on TikTok. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys are incredible. Well, that we love exciting. watching you. We, and, and every time mm-hmm. I turn, I know that you're on, I'm like, it's like right away. It's like a comfort feeling. It's comfort. It's like um, a vibe. You you create mm-hmm. this vibe that, oh, and I, I think a lot of your followers would also agree yeah, sure. it's like a comfort and i'm like oh and then and then you you use the singing drums and like your rituals it it's just very comforting and um oh, thank i you. love it like i think that i should be a witch maybe i am why i think you already are you think so <laughs> you are. oh absolutely. i think you are too <laughs> you know what was so funny that happened today um and these things happen a lot in my family. Like my mom, um, she was told that she has the power to be medium, a psychic medium, but she's chosen not to use it. And she okay. has she has dreams. Um, and these dreams will come true or they'll happen the next day or she'll and she's she's crazy. You can ask him too. He's like, Yo, your mom's weird like that. She just yeah. kind of knows things. Um, and so today, so we have a, a son, he's two, he's almost two and, um, okay, I love it. he's just learning how to talk and he's really talking. Like mm-hmm. he's saying everything. Oh, yeah. And, um, he's like, uh, mama, he wanted me to draw him a puppy. And so I drew the puppy and I said, what's the puppy's uh, name? And he said, chemo. And I was like, that. That is the dog that my mom grew up with. And he's never heard that word before. I, I've never even that, heard mm-hmm. that. Was, kids, kids are incredible. Kids are incredible. And I'll tell you something similar to that. So I remember one day um, that, uh, you know, I was, we were, I don't even know where we were going, but Lyric was about the same age, my son. Right, Lyric. And I love his name. He was like, <laughs> all of a sudden, he started singing Happy Birthday. <sighs> And I was like, who are you saying happy birthday? Who are you singing happy birthday to? And he says, Uncle Brett, or sorry, Uncle Dane. And I was like, Uncle Dane? Like, what? So there's my my sister's husband is one of four children. So there's Jesse, Dane, Brett, and Blake, which is my sister's husband. Dane had passed away before my brother, before my son was born. Oh my gosh. And oh, no. so he says, wow. I'm singing happy birthday to Uncle Dane. Right. So I was just like, uh, 
chills all up and down my arms. So I called my sister and I was like, oh, you're not going to believe what's going on. She's like, hold on, hold on. I'm just with Jesse. And that's where Jesse came. I'm just with Jesse and Brett and Vanessa and everybody. And I said, why? And she's like, oh, today's Dane's birthday. Oh, my like, God. Oh, my God. Uh, you're never like, gonna. I was like, well, you're not gonna believe me now. Well, but like, now we're in the car. I should have said it before. And I was like, I should have just said it. I should have just said. Lyric was just singing because I didn't even know. Wow. And I was just, and I was just like weirded out by it. I was like, oh my god. So <laughs> kids just, they just know. They are magical, mystical beings. Right. And um, my daughter um, has has her soul amnesia now, which is heartbreaking for me. Lyric is still pretty open to it, but okay. I, I used to, you know. Yeah, it's like how I do you think you have a choice in the matter? You don't have a choice, right? So um I never got soul amnesia. Okay. Even though I tried to hide it forever. I was like your mom. Like I'm not psychic. I don't want right. to do this. this is scary to me because I thought I was raised to believe it was scary. Yeah. Ones, which right? is, we're all so then you. um right. But then my daughter, I raised her to be open and to be to to want to do these things. And I mean, I gave her all the tools and I gave her all the stuff and and she's like, Yeah, no thanks. Hmm. and she just she just doesn't and she she'll, she'll not tell, like she's to talk to spirit yeah she's to see spirit lyric see spirit she's to see spirit and talk to spirit and have conversations with them mm -hmm. uh and now she says it like a memory wow mm -hmm. okay it's like my parents say i used to do this or there was one time my parents told me that i it's not like it's not even like a mm -hmm. memory for her it's like yeah. Poof, it's gone. The idea. Yeah, so keep encouraging that. Yeah. There's, I for as soon as you said what's the dog's name, I was like, Yeah. <laughs> like, this is it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I yeah, yeah. And I can't believe that it right? happened today. It happened today that I had the meeting with you scheduled. Yeah. And that's I'm what like me out. no coincidences. That's what there me are out. no coincidences at all. Yeah. And I've been learning, I mean, ever since I've been on this TikTok journey. <laughs> I guess I've been on TikTok for two or three years and learning so much like on my for you, my for you page is basically about manifesting um, and tarot readings. And <laughs> well, well, was... you're manifesting your best life right now anyways, are you not? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's crazy yeah. that it's actually working. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really know a lot about it. <laughs> Attic was but... very big on, he he's was very skeptical he's on very... all of this and it yeah, I kind of converted him into it lately, yeah. and now like you know, yeah. I'm watching you, or Brie wa is watching you. He'll be like, a "Ask her a question, do this, do this." <laughs> We're Absolutely. like, "Oh, so now you believe it?" Enough. That's the Maya, right? Is, um, and it's it's a she's a mod for for um a lot of uh, for a few other uh, rod um spiritual reasons things rods, the dowsing yeah. rods yeah so so she knows all about it. she loves it and Attic's always like, "Ask her this, you're yeah. the mod, so you can yeah. ask her." This. Yeah. Right. Oh my God. And it's, it's kind of, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And it's funny to say that, like, I can honestly say I was the first person using dousing rods for yes or no questions on TikTok. There was not, wow. I, I, I mean, I've been using them since 1994, not to age me, but I've been <laughs> using them specifically for this since 1994. And it's incredible to me to see how many people are out there now doing it, which is Maybe awesome. Not. I always check and be like, okay, did they take my course? Like, yeah. They... <laughs> yeah. Are they stealing my content? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I don't mind. I don't mind. Like, I mean, um, I, I will sometimes, cause I like to stay in my own lane. I'm, I'm that person mm -hmm. that I don't want to know what other people are doing. I don't want to be doing the same things. I want to, I want right. to make my own unique version and I want to bring something different to the table. But, um, and you have, you know, a lot I, of Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. You you oh, have a lot of okay. um like you always make sure that you say in your lives, I'll never solicit, I'll never reach out to you. And because there's imposters that are actually oh, using your name, good. like using your content and, and your running. picture and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like if it, um if you click on uh you know your beauty witch in the six, you can scroll for like a few finger scrolls worth of people that have your beauty, which in the six, like it's wow. insane. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's hard, it's heartbreaking for that on Instagram. Uh, they block me. They're smarter on Instagram for whatever reason on TikTok, they don't block me. Hmm. Mm. Or maybe it's because they go into your lives and then yeah so what i do is like they every time i'm in something. your live if i'm in yours right when i get out of it it'll say like a bunch of random people started following me, like a bunch of other spiritual, you know what I mean? So yeah, they'll go in yeah. and screenshot just... it and send it to me so I can block yeah. them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> After every live I come off, I have screenshots of people that are like, I'm like, okay. And I hate yeah. when I get into somebody and it's like, 
you know, love spell, Dr. Love spell or something like that. Right. And I'll go on them and they have like 30 in, in, of their own imposters or 30, you know, they're an imposter of somebody else. Mm -hmm. So then I have to go through and like block, block individually each and every single one of them, because I'm like, I don't want any of their subsidiaries coming into the live um, after, right? No, it exactly. Just yeah. it. And well, it's like near impossible to get, um, What's it called? Uh, verified on TikTok too. Like I, I don't know how I'm mm -hmm. going to get into a newspaper. Yeah. I've got to manifest that. Well, yeah, we can totally newspaper. manifest that. Yeah. I just did an yeah. interview with Faces Magazine. Oh, so we're in Ottawa, and you're just you're in um, Toronto, right? Oshawa. Oshawa. Yeah, just outside of Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm. I mean, I'm trying to get verified on TikTok too. I feel. I feel like it's a hard thing. Mm -hmm. um, we finally got verified on Instagram. And yeah, you know, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, it's just a thing that you have to keep manifesting. This time last year, I was manifesting 200 at over 200,000 followers on TikTok. And this yeah. year, it happened. That's what I'm saying. Right. I know I saw that. It's funny because uh, I, I never, I don't creep people. I'm, I'm the type yeah. of person that I, I don't have time to scroll and mm -hmm. I try not to like creep on other people but i don't even know i you must have come up on my for you page or something like that and i clicked and i was like yes girl that's <laughs> incredible you've got a good little following that's you awesome know, right? right like and uh it's perfect it's, it's amazing and tiktok has connected me with so many people now i have um a patreon and so we have like 32 mem new members on patreon so this is something else and i know you have your secret society which is amazing <laughs> <laughs> but nobody talks about the secret society because it's a I'm secret not, society. I'm not, I'm, well, not even that. It's just, it's more of, um, I just want people to be intrigued and it's, mm -hmm. it's, you know, I want them to reach out and ask questions about it uh, because it gets them more engaged. But, um, yeah. you know, I, I did look at Patreon for that. Right. And, um, and I, and I'm on Podia and stuff like that for some of my workshops and they have a community based something either, but they denied me because... Mm. I can't use Stripe. Oh, so Stripe, not so for like the, the typical reasons. Uh, no, Stripe is, you it's, can use Stripe in Canada. Okay. But when I applied for it, so uh, Podio uses PayPal, which I mostly use PayPal. Uh, in order to do the community-based stuff on um, Podia, I had to use Stripe. Now, Stripe denied me. Are you ready? Yeah. Because they don't do business with fortune tellers. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, not my. the reason why you think, right? Everyone's like, "Why wow, you credit? Like, what's the deal?" Right? No, no, no. Because they stitch the forty limit minute. Oh shit! What happened? Group chat. Team chat. Oh. Start. I'm They're sorry. Back. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> but That's okay. Maybe we're running out of time. We we can wrap it up too. No, sir. So because no, I don't want to lose this video and the yeah. and the audio. So um oh wait, where is she? I can't see her. There, there we go. I'm here. <laughs> there I'm we go. Here, yeah. Um sorry about that. Okay, so so what That's were you okay. saying again? Um I was saying that I got denied for use of strike for being, for being a, a fortune teller. Oh my god. Which goodness. is crazy. That's crazy. Did they, and so, I was like, it's, uh, yeah, go ahead. Did they give you like a reason? Were they saying they like. They literally said, unfortunately, um, we cannot approve your account right now because we don't do business with fortune tellers. But there was wow. no explanation. No, like. It says oh, you're beauty of... witch in the six. It doesn't even, doesn't even say that I'm a fortune teller. They for sure looked you wow. up and were like, no. That's <laughs> crazy. They Googled you. <laughs> yeah, they Googled you. But who has the time for that? And I why? Know. Yeah. Oh. It is weird to kind of deny someone based off of that. But it, they are. So I called my cousin because I, I then I Googled them and they are yes. like an Irish uh, company that was started in um, Ireland. And my cousin did some research because she works for like Facebook and she's worked for Google. And actually now I think she works for Salesforce. But anyways, besides the point, um, yeah. she <laughs> looked into that and she's like, yeah, they're like Catholic Irish. Right. Like, That's uh, why. Yeah. You know, That's like, so certain companies crazy. are like so <laughs> and you don't think about it right so no. like you know the first time I went into a Chick-fil-a I was like am I going to catch on fire because they don't even open up on Sundays <laughs> yeah, that's Hobby Lobby. That's Hobby Lobby. even the ones in Toronto Bible don't open something, up yep. mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's crazy wow. would you so, like I was like sorry would, 
would you consider yourself a fortune teller? Like, would you call yourself a fortune teller? Um, I think, I not think you're in the traditional sense. Mm-hmm, I will yeah. say yes. I will tell you your fortune because I believe so strongly that you are writing the script of your life and mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. what you believe you achieve. So whenever I do a reading with somebody, I say, well, what do you want? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're like, what? You're supposed to tell me? And I'm, nah. What do you want? And I'll tell you if you're going to get it. Right. Yeah. Because. Right? Because I don't want to, I don't want, I'm not a doom and gloom reader. I definitely no. don't. Do and you don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because if I say to you, like, even if somebody, if I think somebody's going to get like diabetes or something like that, if I see that, I'll say to them, listen, you have a hard time finding joy. And if you don't learn to find your joy, you're going to get sick. And by right. sick, I mean, you might get diabetes. And you know how many people say, oh my God, my daughter, my doctor just told me I'm pre-diabetic. How did you know that? Wow. I said, because yeah because i i know (laughs) but like if you it's not too late if you find your joy then right so that's i would rather tell you your your fortune than tell you that's probably like the number one question and and curiosity that people have is you know if you see that somebody's gonna like get into a car accident do you say something i say well i will never say you're going to get in a car accident because what you think you you do, yeah. So I don't want them to be like yeah. white exactly. because they're not going to be afraid. as you know they're going to be too afraid. They're going to get into yeah. a car accident, right? Yeah. So I'll say, you know what? Like over the next few weeks or whatever, like I just want you to uh, every time you step out of the house, you know, car protect me, house protect me, universe yeah. protect me. Surround yourself with a white light, and off you go. And just know that you are protected, right? So yeah. I'm, and that's what I right? say to myself. In in mm-hmm. my in my manifestations, I say I am powerful. I am protected. And my family is protected. And so what do you, what, with your crystals, because I've bought, a, I've bought a few crystals mm-hmm. and I have an addiction. Yeah. And that, that shungite ex- around your neck? <laughs> yes, what this is one. Neck? Is this the aura? Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that is, that's blue tonas. <laughs> okay. See, but that's I'm learning all it's this. It's, it's blue aura quartz. Okay. And mm-hmm. uh, the funny story behind that is that uh, I had asked for blue topaz crowns. Right. Okay. I love those crowns. And instead, they sent me blue aura quartz. And on the invoice, it said blue tonas, T-O-N-A-S. Mm. Like blue tones or something. Oh. Like, I don't know. They're, they're coming from Brazil. So there's like some sort of language barrier. So yeah. then that was the running joke. It should have been blue topaz. Right. And instead, it was blue aura quartz, but they called it blue Tone. Tone. <laughs> There's so, so many. Now, when I see it, yeah. So, like, what do you, as a, so as a singer songwriter, what do you think is the best crystal I should wear for like manifesting my best life? Green aventurine, all the way. Okay. Health, Green wealth, love, and abundance. Green yeah. aventurine is is like you know uh, the five twenty eight hertz. It is eight 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 eight, which is divine protection and divine abundance. It is like. Number eight, it's the infinity. So yes, green. Like I have that everywhere. Like I have, you know yeah, what I mean? Okay. Like I'm wearing it. It's a I am so attracted it's just to that. Top of the boat. You know I'm I mean? very drawn to it. Yeah. That one, I'm drawn to that yeah. one. And I've always been drawn to tiger, tiger's eye. And I don't know if that has, I don't okay. know why. I don't know why. So always go towards whatever you're drawn to. Tiger's eye wouldn't keep in the bedroom with you. I know. That's what I learned very- that from you. And and I was it having give these, you very vivid dreams. Yeah, like and remember, I was telling you about my recurring dreams, and I kept yeah. having them and having them. And then I was on your live one day, and and you and you said that thing about well, you you need to take the tiger's eye. And there was two tiger's eye um, necklaces in my in my room, and I took them out. <laughs> I was like, but why? Why does it do that? And has it been better? Yeah. Um, it's just well because it it heightens your intuition. Okay. Mm. Right. So it it's doing all of those. Um, it's, it's, it makes things more vivid, uh, yeah. but it's good for, it's good for manifesting. It's good for money. So, <laughs> you know, you're drawn to it for a reason. Um, and, uh, but yeah, if I, if I had to say anything, but let me just see, um, let me just see if I can pull this up. I'm cr- trying to create an app uh, and let me just see if I have anything. Oh, cool. So for, I think I, did I tell you once before what you should have for, for manifesting, I feel like somebody else was a singer songwriter, and I they think had asked me. You might have said that exact thing, and that's why I bought a bunch of the. I I got some of the green adventuring stones, and I I put them in necklaces and wear them around my neck. <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what I thought of it, and and I know I'm drawn to it too. But yeah, abundance. And one hits twenty-seven. Yeah. And uh, abundance and and 
luck and love, you know? Okay. So this says, okay. So this makes sense too. So any of the blue stones are actually your throat chakra. Okay. Right? So you want to have, yeah. So um, you want the color blue around your neck. So that's perfectly in tune. Uh, sodalite uh, is going to be good as well. Um, it's the poet stone. So to like oh. believe to enhance creativity, yeah. communication and self-expression. It can help song singers writer. and songwriters articulate their thoughts and emotions. Clear mm. quartz is an amplifier. It's a master healer. It's believed to amplify energy and intention. It can be used to enhance clarity of thought and promote focus, which can be beneficial for songwriting. Carnelian, oh, the crystal wow. is associated with creativity, motivation, and confidence. It's believed to inspire singers and songwriters to take bold, creative leaps and overcome self-doubt. Lapis lazuli, another blue stone, mm. uh, is linked to wisdom, intuition, and spiritual awareness. It can aid in enhancing creativity and tapping into one's inner truths, which can be valuable uh, for songwriting. And then rose quartz, stone of love, uh, is associated um, with compassion and emotional healing. It can help singers and songwriters connect with their emotions to express them more deeply in their music. Oh, wow. So that is so, um, on top of the ones we've mentioned. Yeah. That's clear quartz or sodalite? Sodalite, clear quartz, clear quartz and adv um, adventuring. Lapis, rose oh. quartz, and yeah, green adventuring. I yeah, feel like I just adventuring. love them all. I know. I have an addiction. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> Go slower. I know. Honey, are you taking notes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coming? yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'm glad we have this recorded yeah. so that we can take, yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. So what we're going to wrap it up because, you know, this has been so fun. I've, I feel like we could just go on forever, but we won't <laughs> because we are, um, <laughs> we're trying to make sure that we don't lose the recording and stuff. Um, but okay, Angela, okay. you are amazing. Could you please tell us how to find you online? Uh, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's been a pleasure. You mm -hmm. can find me on TikTok uh, under your beauty witch in the six, as well as Clapper and Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of on all the socials. Awesome. For... Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. And, and we'd like to have you back. If that yes. Can we have a part two? Absolutely. Uh, part Anytime. This is sure fun. Keep, I can keep going. Yes. And if you have, absolutely. do you have anything pr to promote? I know you do something for Halloween. Oh, that's it. Oh, shit. Is it done? Yeah. No, that's good. Let her know if she wants to send a sound clip for the Halloween thing. Oh, maybe not. No. Oh, not. yeah, she's done. Yeah. Just let her know, send you a sound clip for what she wants for Halloween. Okay. That's horrible. Why? Oh, I'm really good. Yeah. You wanted to keep going, but it was winter. I thought it was, I thought it was almost for an hour. No, it's not. I've never used it. I thought it was it before. It said it was almost for an hour. We so got an hour over fine. Okay, so I just wanted you to let you know that if next time, if you want, we could do the live on my end because I have unlimited free Zoom. Oh, you just ran out of your 30 minute time, but um, I'm sorry about that. I had so much fun and I can't wait to do this again. Did you send you a thing? She said so for next time. Okay, so I just wanted you to let you know that if next time, if you want, we could do the live on my end because I have unlimited free Zoom. Yeah. You just ran out of your 30 minute time, okay. but. Um, I'm sorry about that. I had so much fun and I can't wait to do this again. I have so many questions for her. I know. We still have so many questions. Baby, don't let her talk, eh? I know. Did I not? No, not at the beginning. You gotta let her talk. I'm excited. Sorry. I can tell she was excited. No, it was really good, though. It was really good. It was really good. You have to pass it, that's <laughs> I'm studying again. Good job. I'm not quitting. Stims, you should call this guy and try to invest a little bit of money. Okay. This guy that I'm dealing with, my guy. I got a high soldier. Yes. Guy, Chris or Fisher or something. His name is Camden. He's a very nice fellow. You should just talk to him. How much money do you want to invest? I can invest maximum 5000 You don't? You don't? You don't have to send the money right away. Well, I don't know how to... I'm not talking like, not just talking, here's a man, here's 500 bucks, big work. No. Well, you put the money into like a TFSA so it's saved for you, yeah. for your retirement. And then
then he invests that money. Here's and the thing. he makes more money for you. I don't understand that. So if I just give you five thousand dollars, can you just give me five thousand dollars? I don't know. So you might not see that for a while. <laughs> I was so excited. I rambled a lot. So sorry. I should have. Don't, don't say that, baby. We didn't ramble. You were fine. Don't say that. Just tell her it was great having you. Sorry. We thought Zoom was for an hour. She's Yeah, she said he did it. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, that would be perfect. We still have so many questions. LOL. I'll make sure I get to upgrade the Zoom. Yeah. And she said, yay. I feel like all our, all our energies vibed well, and I could have kept going. Oh, she's super nice. Yeah. She's super nice. I wanted to ask her about her kit, and she was brought up. It's like, well, were you a child when you thought the song goes? Well, well, let's say she, had, she cool. had one of the questions, that I, and I really want to know the first one. That's why I was pointing at it for you to ask her. I'm like, because I kind of want to know. Which one? The one where, like, when did you first find out? So what tied into Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to ask her, what was your first ghost encounter? So but you could, but I you, should have but, said it. You should have interrupted me. But it was exciting, though, because you guys were talking. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. So I can just do it from home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks for coming. Bye. Upstairs. All right, guys, thank you for listening. And uh, please, again, stream this. Um, share it to your friends, download it, make sure you make it a favorite and heart it. Follow us on uh, Podbean and everywhere you stream your podcasts, uh, stream my music everywhere on Spotify. Um, we've got like 70, no, we've got like 50,000 follow monthly listeners on there. So be, f- be sure to check it out. Um, and also, this was just so fun. Uh, this was like one of my very favorite episodes, and I feel like we could just go on and on and on um, talking to Angela, your beauty witch in the six, about like all kinds of things. And so that's why we decided to do a part two. And who knows, maybe there'll even be a part three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> she just is a wonderful human. Um, and thank you to her for giving us her time and uh for this episode and to uh get us rolling here we're we're learning as we go on like the technology and we're releasing video so um if you guys follow me uh join my patreon you'll be able to get the full video footage of this of this whole interview that we got to do with uh, Angela, your beauty witch, in the six. She's just gorgeous inside and out. So um, check it out if you want that exclusive content. Make sure you check me out on Patreon. Follow any of the tiers. You'll be able to unlock all kinds of exclusive exclusive content. This was just too fun. So um, I will keep you updated on when we get to uh, chat with Angela, your beauty witch in the six again, probably within the next month. It's it's. I'm not gonna leave it very long because this was just too fun to uh, to not keep the momentum going. Okay, guys, make sure you follow me everywhere. Uh, stream my music everywhere. Share it to all your friends, and um, we'll see you next time. We'll chat later. Bye. <laughs>